Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. How to make your own do-it-yourself PVC boot dryer or boot and glove drying rack. Now anybody that works or plays uh, in the snow or even in the outdoors can benefit from a drying rack. Um, you know, when you're outdoors all day long in the snow or in the rain, your boots are going to get wet, your gloves are going to get wet, and this is just a very simple way uh, of drying those very, very quickly. And the neat thing is that it only uses PVC and a standard hair dryer, which most people have. The materials you need are some 2 inch diameter PVC, basically need 3 uh, T sections, 8 90 degree elbows, uh, 6 pieces cut 2 inches long, 4 pieces cut 4 inches long, 2 pieces cut 6 inches long, uh, and then inch and a half diameter PVC, we need 2 2 inch to 1 and a half inch adapters, and 2 um, 4 inch long pieces. Now it looks kind of complicated, but it actually goes together very, very easily. You start with a T-section, and then you attach um, a 90 degree elbow to both sides, and then we're going to uh, put a 4 inch uh, piece onto each one of those uh, 90 degree elbows, and then we're going to put another 90 degree elbow so it's facing up or pointing up. We're going to use a 2 inch uh, piece, and then we're going to attach another T-section um, so that that T is facing forward. The section that I'm working on now, we're going to get another 2 inch piece and then another uh, 90 degree elbow. That's going to be the drying rack for the gloves. Uh, that's also going to point upward and we're going to reduce that to inch and a half. The back portion is going to be for the boots. I'm going to have a slightly longer piece, and you could use any size you want. If your boots are tall boots, you might want to make this a little longer. Um, I use the six inch piece here, and then put a 90 degree elbow. Um, I have it face, shown facing forward here, uh, but after I test fit the boots, um, I found out that it actually fits better if you angle it a little bit outward. So basically you have um, a drying rack for the, for the boots in the back, and then you have two uh, upward facing uh, inch and a half uh, racks that can be used for gloves uh, or you could actually use them for another set of boots especially a child's boots now the next step I'm gonna make some I'm gonna flatten a couple of pieces of PVC uh, just to use as a diffuser uh, it's a pretty simple process all you do is you heat the bottom uh, two or three inches uh, of the PVC with a heat gun it takes a few minutes to get it warm enough um, and then just on a hard surface I'm just using another couple pieces of PVC uh, press the two sides together uh, you don't want to completely close it you want the openings um, on both ends almost like a elongated number eight you do have to hold it in position until that PVC cools um, and then that PVC will hold its shape I did these on longer sections of PVC and then cut them to size. Um, and they only have to be, you know, three or four inches long. And these are just going to be the diffusers that are plugged into um, the top of each one of those stacks. So you have uh, two two inch pieces uh, for the boots and you need two uh, inch and a half pieces for the gloves. Don't glue these sections in place, especially um, the back sections for the boots, uh, because if you want to use the same drying rack on a child's boots, uh, they may not fit if you have that diffuser in place, and you could certainly use it without that diffuser. Another trick is, is not to attach either of the upward arms at all. Just let them um, press fit into that bottom uh, elbow, into that uh, bottom 90 degree elbow. And this way you could disassemble the unit if you're traveling for a ski vacation, etc. Uh, the only other modification that we have to do is just to make a little notch uh, into that uh, bottom T-section so that it accepts the hair dryer that I had. Um, now, your hair dryer, dryer you may have to um, modify it some, somewhat differently. You could use smaller PVC, larger PVC. Uh, you'll have to look at the hair dryer and see how it fits. I just needed to cut two notches, one on either side, and that hair dryer just basically sits in place. Uh, with this design, which um, I did on purpose, I kept the hair dryer upright so that it's not sitting in a puddle of water um, or it doesn't have any water dripping on it. And again, the diffusers for both back uprights are not glued in position. You can remove them if you choose to. 
and in its final position, and this is all now glued together, um, the boots face outward, the gloves fit nicely on those forward uh, diffusers, and you would just put that uh, hair dryer on the low setting and let it run for you know 15 or 20 minutes. You don't want to leave these things this thing on overnight. Um, fire hazards, you know, hair dryers are not meant to be on for all that long. Uh, but you can see it puts out a decent amount of uh, air through each one of the outlets and it's nice and warm. Uh, warms and dries your boots and gloves very, very quickly. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this YouTube channel.